Hi guys, it's Mary Mary here with a mall, um, not a mall, a hall of epic proportions. I was out with my mom and my aunt celebrating my aunt's birthday. It was just fun. There was this one SUV blasting music and I told my aunt and my mom to move your head like this, you guys, and they did. The little kid in the car was laughing his rear end off and then my mom and my aunt are going like this. I think we made someone's day. Anyways, I went a little shopping, so let me just show you some things. First, I finally purchased the Chanel bronzer. I think it's Soleil Tan de Chanel. I think a lot of people like this. It smells just like the bourgeois. I mean, dead on for the bourgeois products that I've had. I had a, maybe a chocolate bronzer from bourgeois. Here's the packaging. I just went, this was funny, I got my mom to go into Neiman Marcus and she wanted to get a sweatshirt. So I figured I have just enough time to get some products at Neiman Marcus before my mom figures out that there are no sweatshirts there. So I told I them. Kill you. So I, I told them what I wanted and we had a good time done in record time. Just mind-boggling. So, got that. Got the enzyme from Amore Pacific, finally. You know how much I've been wanting that. Whoop. It just looks like this, and it comes out in a pump, these little crystals. It feels like a slight foam on your face, and then it leaves your face slimy. This would be really good for people with combination skin, or even dewy skin. With my dry skin, it ha I have to moisturize right away. But it gets your face really clean. And then she hooked me up with a lot of La Mer samples, which I'm like, eh. I think they're very expensive products, and I'm happy with my CeraVe and whatnot. But aren't these cute? So maybe this will get in the uh, giveaways, some of them. And what else did I get? The La Mer powder, finally. And believe it or not, all this stuff was less than, or yeah, comparable to what I've spent on drugstore last month. So I'm hoping that this, this is it for a long time. I was thinking about it and I have a plan of what the perfect makeup collection for me would consist of how many products and so on and so forth. So this is what the La Mer looks like. This is a lot. This is a lot in here. And it's translucent. She said that this would probably work best for me. Comes with a little powder puff. And then you have this right here. Well, let's just see how this goes. We can compare it to my e.l.f. High Def. It doesn't smell. I don't know what's to see. It's translucent. So that would be really interesting to compare this to my $3 e.l.f. And what else? Oh, finally, I don't even know if there's a candle light that I was looking for. This is the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting from Kevin Aquan. And this was like the one bad thing. There was, I just had one woman get all everything for me. And the one who was in charge of Aquan didn't know they had candlelight or there was only different powders there. So this fell off already from the bottom. Nice. And I just said, well, if it doesn't work out, I'll bring it back, right? And then, ah, oh, it looks like it. It looks like the stuff, you guys. So I am an idiot. Drove them nuts, and I got the wrong name. This was, it lasts a year, and it's the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting. And... I don't even know if we can see that. 
or if that's where you're supposed to put it. So, there we go. Then my mom got me this cute little bag. It looks like a Louis Vuitton, doesn't it? But it's not. It's a gift bag, and I thought this would be fun for my makeup. So this was cute. Are you laughing, Mom? Yes, I am. She's laughing. The, my schnauzer won't let her move from her spot. And then I got Joe Malone. They're always so nice at Joe Malone. I have like a handful of samples. I'm already five minutes. And then this is the best value at, at Joe Malone. This is Joe Malone London Lime Basil and Mandarin Shampoo. It's $25. And then here's the conditioner. I think it's the same price. I've never had the conditioner. So that was good. And then I happened to pick this up a while ago. This won some award. This is the Remo Lash Accelerator, so I'll let you all know how this works out. And then I have the Airy Fairy, finally. I don't know if this is going to make it to my friend. It is, it's really a pretty nude. It's 070 Arrow Fairy, so this is like a big YouTube thing. And then I want to try like Janet did, putting eyelashes on, but um, not just yet. Okay, let's see if we can review the magazine. So here's Vogue. I, I was surprised. I love the articles in Vanity Fair, but I loved the articles here, and I almost read them all. I approached this like a assignment. Let me go through, let's see what I had earmarked here. I saw the, I saw, well, here's the Louis Vuitton. She's like 60. That's Catherine Deneuve. I like that ad. It's just like 100 pages of ads. I like the Alexander McQueen, and, and usually I don't like that kind of tough look. But that was really a cool, cool article. What did I learn in here? There is, um... A story on Lord and that song with the Royals on it she, she came up with that if you read this article she came up with it from opening a book or a magazine and seeing the Kansas City Royals and will never be royal that's where that line comes from actually here's the Brahmin these aren't I, I don't like the Brahmin eggs or these Brahmin bags oddly enough I have I have Brahmin bags so, the articles that she read, they're like heartbreaking, but my mom says, go ahead and talk about it. So, the one article that Kelly referenced was um, about the lost girls. There were an amount of girls who were taken by the Lord's Army from Uganda, and the nun pleaded, take me, don't take them, and it was ended up that 100 got to go home and 300 were lost for, for many, many years. And it was just, um, in Chicagoland area, where from, my mom actually met some of the lost boys from her church, the boys from Somalia, they have relocated to like Evanston or on, um, you know, near my mom. And she met them, really nice guys. It's just a real thought-provoking article and then another another article was on the women in the Air Force Army Navy Marines in the United States who are being raped and just the you know it's just how it's handled if anything if you're in the service and that happens the penalties should be stiffer I think I don't know um so that was a very interesting article about how this one lone senator, well, actually Paul Rand is is on her side. The senator is losing allies in this House and the Senate because of her stance, which would be my stance too, I think. Um, that should not be happening. <clears throat> 
And then what else could we say about this magazine? Here's Lord's. Here's the article in Lord. That was really interesting. There's an article I can't wait to see or read. It's about a woman from the West End of London who visited her friends on the East End and had so much fun. I didn't get a chance to read this, but wouldn't it be fun to read an article of, like this is about cupcakes and then to be able to go visit that area. This was maybe New York. I'm not sure. And then there is also an article in the magazine about the uh, a very famous Roca, I think, an Irish designer that uh, it's just fun how she incorporates her growing up, her weddings, the uh, baptisms, communions into her designs. Here's something that, um, this is for Galaxy Tab, but the paper on it is incredible. And when I look at magazines and I see a paper like this, I try and use it as a wrapping paper. It never works, but I just love that. Or I would rip this out usually and then use it for a grocery list. Um, here's the article the back page of the article on the Lost Girls. Well, I call them the Lost Girls because I'm familiar. Actually, in the Chicagoland area, a lot of Ugandans have relocated, and it's uh, ironic, one of the warlords. I mean, do you not think people are going to remember who you are? And uh, he's been turned in, and I don't think he's had, he has such a good life now. I don't know if he's in our prison or in Uganda. I don't know. So... Um, yeah, that's about it. I mean, beautiful ads. They even have ads for, like, Target, though, and Maybelline. You know, very few. The rest are all high-end. And I look at the clothes. I remember growing up thinking, that's high fashion? I, how would you wear that? Where would you wear that? And I've since learned now that um, this is sharp from my favorite store, Nordstrom's that you just incorporate these looks in high fashion. Take an element that you like, an element of the styles. I love this. I love these coats. And I think the Canadian version is different because my Brahmin ad was in the back, not in the front. So, yeah. Um, what did I earmark? This is funny. This woman is Erin Lauder. She is one of the most wealthy women in the world. So it's this. It's strange, like how um, how I look through a magazine, and and what I think when I see models or when I see ads, when I read articles. What my my thought process is behind. So I hope that fulfilled my requirements. Thanks so much for asking me to do this. This is, and I always stumble before I say because I don't want to say um, any of your names. But this is Kelly McKelly's channel. This was a request because I was so lazy. I asked her to review a Vogue because I like watching like uh, Miss Cavalier 01 go through magazines or just so many people who go through magazines, um, which I can't recall right now. And um, so I did it. So please, if you have magazine subscriptions, Feel free to read them um, on YouTube. I would enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy watching people stack their dishes in the dishwasher, though, to see how, you know, it's done. Have a great weekend, you guys.